Hello sweet angels, it's Flex. Welcome to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Now today is all about brows. I'm gonna show you how you can do your brows three different ways with three different products. I'm gonna talk through some do's, some don'ts, some shoulds, some should nots, some coulds, some could possibly, <laughs> and all that good stuff. So let's just get right into it. Now the first look that I'm gonna do today is what I would call, and I think what a lot of people would call, like a model of duty look, a slightly undone but done messy bushy clean brow you'll get what i mean now before you do anything the first thing i would suggest with any brow look is to comb through your brows make sure they're all facing up and outwards So I'm jumping in with the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer Mascara. I would say this is a really great product for those who already have quite a good natural shape, like I do, who don't need too much extra product or help trying to get the look. And this has little, I might show you the edge of it there so you can see, it's got little fibers on the end of it that assist in making your brows appear a little bit more bushy and full. All right, so for my first brow do, I think what's really important is that for any brow product that you use, you start in really light coats and you build slowly. Now for the person who prefers a bit of a more snatched Instagram baddie, precise brow, a pomade could be a good tool for you. So right now I'm gonna jump in with the tattoo brow. Do some people say pomade or is it always made look I'm no linguist um, it's also waterproof as well so you want to make sure that you are being quite careful when you're applying it because it will be a little bit tricky to get off but also what's really good is that it's gonna last you most of the day you can swear you can be about your business and don't have to, and don't have to be worried that your brows are gonna fall off you know midday so I'm just gonna put a little bit on the brush like I said earlier start soft shallow lines don't rush and then build as you go and that is my super snatched insta baddie um, super glamour night out brow. <laughs> Okay, so now for the very last brow I'm gonna show you. I've got here Tattoo Brow Gel Tint. As you can imagine by the name of this product, this is a brow tint in a bottle. The first time I used this, I will admit I was very scared that I was going to give myself blocky clown brows. <laughs> um, I didn't, uh, but <laughs> but now I definitely have some tips and tricks on how to get this looking as good as possible the first time you do it. So bear with me. Another brow do um, that I just recently um, discovered for myself is to go to a brow professional and get them to do your brows in the most flattering shape for your face. Getting my brows shaped and having the arch put where it needs to be and the tail put where it needs to be, you know, sort of like creates this nice flow and symmetry with my face that I didn't have before. What I like to do first is fill in the bottom half of my brow, then complete the tail, then the top, then the middle and kind of leave this section here till the very end because again, like I mentioned earlier, we don't want too much darkness happening in the middle there. All right, so it's been 20 or so minutes. Um, generally, you can leave this product on for between 20 minutes and two hours. I'm going to take it off right now and hope that I've done the right thing and done this properly. And 
and I just use a spoolie to get the excess out because I've got claws for fingers and it wasn't going to work like I wanted it to. Oh, that's a technique though. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but this gel tint will last about three or so days, which is super awesome. And so I guess that brings us to the end of today's videos. I showed you how to do your brows three different ways for three different effects. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Like this video if you like it. Comment down below with any suggestions for future videos and make sure you come back here to check out what else I end up posting. Okay, bye.